Hey everybody, David here with my response to a tag that my good friend Beth over at B-Side Records has started. Uh, she is starting a horror tag and what she wants is to answer 10 questions uh, regarding horror movies. Uh, so the first question that she wants us to answer is, what is the first horror movie you remember watching? The earliest memory I have of, of seeing something uh, scary uh, would have to be probably um, Salem's Lot. Uh, this was a made-for-TV miniseries um, based on the Stephen King book. Uh, but I, I just remember walking in to the living room one night, and uh, my mom was watching this. Um, I, You know how kids can be. I, I'd gone to bed probably decided I needed a drink of water or I had to give mom one more kiss before I went to sleep. But uh, I walked in and she was watching Salem's Lot and there was the scene where they're at the hospital and there's a woman who's laying on a gurney covered in a white sheet and she all of a sudden rises and the sheet falls and she's a vampire. Um, the guy in the room with her has made a crucifix out of tongue depressors and he presses it to her forehead, uh, burning her and leaving a uh, cross mark on her forehead and then she just screams and vanishes. <laughs> kind of cheesy but I just remember she looked like Lily, Lily Munster but she had yellow eyes and she had fangs and uh it just it, it scared me I, I I hid behind the rocking chair in the living room but I still was peeking through the slats because I wanted to see what was going on so that's that's one of my earliest memories of of seeing uh, horror uh, on tv or or whatever for the first time uh, question two was, what is your favorite horror movie? Uh, that, for me, would have to be Silence of the Lambs. I know it's debatable as to whether or not you would call this horror, but it is a psychological thriller. And Anthony Hopkins' portrayal of Hannibal Lecter is just some of my favorite um, acting in, in a movie. I mean, he's only in the movie for less than 20 minutes, but that's some of the best 20 minutes in cinema, if, if you ask me. Uh, so my favorite movie would have to be Silence of the Lambs. Uh, question three is, uh, what is your favorite subgenre of horror? I'm going to have to go with slashers. You know, I grew up watching Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I really liked Freddy Krueger uh, as a character. He, you know, he was scary, but at the same time, he, you know, was witty and had some cheesy one-liners. Um... I also grew up watching, you know, Child's Play, uh, Chucky, another witty character with, with some more liners, uh, Friday the 13th, um, I'm trying to think of some other ones, uh, Pumpkinhead, I don't know, I, I guess Pumpkinhead wouldn't be considered a slasher, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, I've, I've just always enjoyed the, the slasher movies. Uh, question four, what genre scares you the most? Uh, for me, that would have to be the supernatural uh, horror movies. Movies like The Exorcist, The Omen, um, Stigmata, The Right, just anything that has to do uh, with uh, spirituality and, and being possessed by an evil entity or a demon or a spirit. Those movies have always been a little more troubling for me than, say, slashers and, and, and uh you know, alien abductions and all that stuff. So, um, I, I guess it's because I grew up in the church and, you know, we're, we're taught that there's good and evil. So someone being possessed by uh, a demonic spirit is a little more feasible to me than, say, um, a clown that comes back to life every 28 years and wreaks havoc on a town. So, uh, so for me, the subgenre that, or the genre that scares me the most would have to be the supernatural. All right, question five is, what is the last movie that actually scared you? Uh, this is tough, uh, because not a lot really scares me anymore. Uh, these movies have just 
almost become parodies of, of, of one another. Um, I really enjoyed The Strangers. Uh, this is a movie that had Liv Tyler in it. Um, she's essentially out in this cabin in the, um, <clears throat> in the, in the woods. Different movie. Uh, anyway, she's, she's just in a cabin and, uh, she's home by herself and these, uh, strangers, uh, break into her house and they are terrorizing her and, and essentially just doing everything they can to scare her to death before they uh, ultimately try to kill her. So, the strangers. Uh, question six is, who is the ultimate Scream Queen? Uh, if you Google Scream Queen, you're gonna get Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, she got her start in 1978 uh, in John Carpenter's Halloween. Uh, she went on to do The Fog. Uh, she was in Prom Night. Uh, so she's, she is a scream queen, but uh, one of the actresses of, of late that I would call the scream queen would be Vera Farmiga. Uh, she plays Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring series and the Annabelle movies. Uh, she also played Norma Bates in the Bates Motel series on A&E. So um, I would call her the reigning uh, scream queen. Uh, question seven is a concept you'd like to see in horror. Um, I kind of like the idea of the um, anthology series. Um, American Horror Story has been the one that's been good about that. You know, you have the same cast from season to season, but it's a different storyline. Um, I, I guess as far as movies go, uh, the movie Trick or Treat was kind of, Kind of like that. You had three or four different storylines within the movie that were not connected in any way at all, but then they kind of get in interwoven uh, by this one central character, um, Sam, who is the spirit of Halloween. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I'd like to see some more anthology type movies. Uh, question eight is: What is your favorite on-screen kill? Uh, that, for me, would be uh, the scene in Hannibal, where Hannibal Lecter has Inspector Potsy tied to a dolly. Uh, he's got him uh, peeking out over a balcony over the city of Florence. Uh, he asks him, you know, bows in or bows out. And, of course, Potsy's mouth is taped shut. And he can't answer, so Hannibal just kind of nods and says, okay, bows out. And he slices him across the belly and then pushes him out over the balcony. The rope catches and his entrails just spill all over the streets of Florence. So what's it to be? Bows in or bows out? Like Judas. Are you confused? Well, I'll decide for you if you'll permit me. Child. Pretty gruesome. It's, it's one of my favorite on screen kills. Uh, question nine was What is your favorite horror franchise? That's easy. I can't see them right now, but. Halloween, absolutely love Michael Myers as um, the antagonist in a movie. Uh, he's quiet, he's stealth. Uh, he's just one of those iconic characters that I never grow tired of, of seeing. Um, we got to see him uh, in 2018 in a new movie. Uh, it was awesome being able to see him on the big screen. The last time I can recall seeing um, a Halloween movie uh, in theaters was uh, The Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, I, I want to say I was the only one in the theater because I happened to see it on the same day that they were reading the O.J. Simpson verdict. So there was no one in there but me. So, uh, I, yeah, Michael Myers is just my favorite character. Um, and so we've got two more movies that are currently being shot, uh, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Um, 
Halloween Kills is supposed to be out um, this October, and then Halloween Ends will be out next October. So really looking forward to see how they uh, tie up this series, and hopefully we go out on a high note. Because Lord knows there have been some high notes and low notes uh, in this franchise. Uh, question 10. Who is your favorite horror director? George Romero, John Carpenter, Wes Craven, those are some big names. But um, a director that I've been enjoying um, recently is uh, Mike Flanagan. He directed the series on Netflix called The Haunting of Hill House. And he also directed Dr. Sleep, which was a sequel to The Shining. Uh, I've really enjoyed both those um, series and movie quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to see what else we get from Mike Flanagan in the future. That's going to do it for my answers, Beth. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, for those of you in the VC, um, I know this isn't anything to do with music, but what are some of your favorite horror uh, moments? Uh, do you even like horror movies? Uh, so uh, leave a comment below or make a video response to this. Uh, for those of you in the horror community, I'd love to hear what your favorite horror movies are. And uh, until next time, take care and thanks.